Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. And, uh, and this week is a very happy week because I have finally been contracted by the Inkscape pro project itself to work on bug fi fixes for the 1.3 release. Uh, now you might be think thinking, why is this so special, Mar not Martin? Um, and the fact is, is that the Inkscape pro project itself um, has been trying to organize uh, basically contracts to pay developers to work on Inkscape for a long time. And because of lots of internal um, politics and and just uh, like resources to be able to organize ourselves, we haven't actually been able to do it yet. Um, but now we finally have a bunch of different projects. This this one with bug fi fixing involves myself and Raphael, who I've probably mentioned to you in the past. Uh, we're going to essentially be contracted to work a set number of hours to fix prop problems in the Inkscape project. Okay, so now what does this mean for uh, this project? And also what does it mean for like, what's the difference between what I'm doing here and what Inkscape have asked me to do? Um, so the key the key thing to remember is, is that Inkscape is a non-for-profit, which means that when it asks people to do work, that work has to be done um, in the public interest. It basically is a, it has to be done with the with the intent that it benefits the public. And so how bugs are prioritized and what issues get worked on are entirely devolved to essentially uh, the community at large, uh, what is considered to be the most beneficial to the general public, um, and, you know, essentially what will affect the greatest number of people. Um, and if you compare that to what I'm doing here and what I've been doing for the past few years, which is essentially encouraging uh, users to get involved and contribute so that I can listen to them specifically. Uh, it's a it's a similar but different problem. Uh, in a lot of ways, a lot of the bugs that uh, individuals want, want me to fix are actually the same issues that benefit the public great greatly. You know, like Inkscape crashes, Inkscape crashes for everybody. Um, but there are going to be situations where, um, you know, Inkscape needs me to work on this bug that affects lots of people and uh, my sponsors want me to work on something else. And so it's worth bearing in mind that these will actually be two separate buckets of hours that I'll be wor wor working on Inkscape. A lot of the time it'll look like I'm fixing a whole bunch of things, but I'm keeping my ear open to my sponsors who I want to thank very much for all of their help and support. Um, because it, re it really is you, you, you guys that have allowed me to continue doing this for so long. Um, I'll be listening to the pro problems that you're seeing in the coming release, and I'll be prioritizing those hours to fix those problems. But then I get to do a separate thing, which is where I get to listen to the rest of the community about the problems that are really impacting Inkscape, and then fix those as well. Um, and the number of hours I get to work is is, is nice. Like I, I should be able to essentially dedicate my time towards Inkscape for the, at least the next three months. Maybe two months depends on when when the release comes out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super I'm super stoked. Um, I'm happy to essentially be tr trusted by the community at large to be able to work on In Inkscape. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get done. Um, okay, so let's talk about some some of the things we actually managed to get done this week. Um, so mostly it's bug fixes. So. Um, one of the requirements for this new contract that I have with the Inkscape pro project itself is that I need to publish monthly what I've been doing, right, for the for the for the public, and that needs to be published in a public space. So, uh, one of the tasks that I did was I essentially modified the Inkscape website so that we can show uh, essentially blog posts from individual developers. Um, and it contributors in, in ge general, where they have a space where you can publish, essentially like I've been working on these designs or I have been doing this development stuff, and it gives us just a little bit of extra space that's not the news section, but it's its own thing. Uh, a bunch of modifications to fix a bunch of stuff in the website to do that. Um, I fixed some issues uh, with Inkscape itself, with with escaping from various di dialogues. We had some keyboard shortcut pro problems that essentially meant that if you open certain dialogues, you wouldn't be able to quit them. 
with the escape key. Um, sometimes your um, focus would get stuck inside of a spin button. That's a, a box with a num number in it. Um, and you wouldn't be able to press escape and, and, and get, get out of it. This affected the guides. Um, and then there was the 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 problem with the with the command palette. Um, if you press the question mark button, you should get a command palette. If the focus was not in the text box, you couldn't press escape to get out of it. Um, so that's been fixed. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh yes, the templating stuff. So uh, there's uh, fixes for the new templating extensions. Essentially, when it was opening extensions that were loaded through Python, it wasn't marking them as new files and it wasn't marking them correctly, um, essentially as, as templated opened files. That has all been fixed to a bit of refactoring to, to help make, make, make that easier. Um, I did work a lot on extensions, uh, essentially, um, so we had a lot of dependency problems. Packages were very confused about what Python packages they needed to bundle in order to make all of the extensions that we ship work. Uh, some new scripts and some new CI build building work has gone in to essentially make that easier. Um, I've been pushing for more merge request stuff. So extensions, merge requests and things have been uh, pro processed to make, to make that easier. We're down pretty much to... Uh, no extensions, merge requests outstanding, I don't think. At least none that are, need to be uh, pushed further. Um, oh yes, yeah. so uh, speaking of merge requests, I've also been pushing more, more general code merge requests. We're going to start doing some merge request review in the developer meetings. And the reason for this is because we have 150 open merge requests. About 80 of them are set to not draft. And we really need to work through through those. We can't we can't just sit on contributions and not pro process them. Either they need to be closed, or they need to be uh, reworked, or they need to be you know merged. Um, so a, a, an extra fo focus to make sure that con contributions aren't being wasted. Um, so that's essentially what I've been doing. Next week is going to be a lot more bug fi fixing, and I'll let you know how that goes. And uh, let's get into some of the bug fixes and features that other pe people have been doing. Um, this week is actually mostly a PBS week. Um, he's fixed the show pre preferences so that it attaches to the correct window. He's fixed the uh, pattern editor, so the de default end entry, as well as the page auto scrolling bug. Um, he's disabled some event GTK compression problems that cause events to, to disappear. Um, he fixed a crash in the PDF importer. He fixed uh, the incorrect blend mode in the uh, uh, canvas item rect. This is a way of uh, put, painting things onto the screen. Um, so he's been very busy. Um, Javier has done, uh, he allow, allow backup and restore selection with, with, with actions, essentially from, from, from the command line. He's basically allowing you to uh, remember what things are selected, um, which looks cool. Um, and, and that's really about it. I can see a whole bunch of other work that's not quite finished, so I won't mention it until future videos. Um, but th thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry if I seem a bit run, run down. It's been a bit of a stressful week this week. Um, and this video I know is late, but uh, with my apologies, thank, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope, hope to see you all next week.